Hey what's going on guys, it's Evan from Model3D and welcome back to episode 5 of 3D Friday. So if you're new to 3D Friday, it basically involves me jumping over to Thingiverse or a website where you can download free 3D printable files, um, downloading them, printing on one of my printers and showing you guys what I printed. So this week I printed the unofficial Pixar lamp, this is actually titled the Snap Together Mini Lamp. It was uploaded to Thingiverse by uh, MakerBot. It's a 17 part print. It printed in about 7 hours overall. Unfortunately my camera died within the first 15 minutes so I wasn't able to time lapse any of it. Um, but it came out really really cool and I can show you that now. Um, it's all articulated. It's actually a little bit clunky at the moment. It needs a little bit of sanding on the joints but it rotates. It's really cool. Um, it was printed at a 0.2mm layer height, um, it was 15% infill for the base, 20% infill for the little kind of shade at the top, and for all the mechanical kind of parts that needed to be nice and strong, especially the pins, they were all printed at a 50% infill. It was printed in the Signal Orange XL Fill PLA by Voltiva, and it came out absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to put some video on screen now of a close-up of this. As you can see, the layer height came out really, really nice, it's nice and smooth. I plan on coating this with XTC 3D by Smoothon, uh, making sure it's nice and smooth, giving it a nice and glossy look, and then I'm going to paint it with some Owlclad 2, which is a uh, metal lacquer paint, so that's going to look really cool, give it a nice kind of metal look, um, then I'm going to put some electronics in it, make it look like a real lamp, and yeah, so that's going to be some future videos to come, of me customising this little guy. Um, like I said, it was printed on my OneHow Duplicator i3, and I absolutely love it, really, really happy with how it came out. Um, one little thing I would say is that the assembly took a little bit longer than expected just because there was no kind of instruction sheet, any kind of step-by-step -step guide of how to actually assemble it. You just had to go off the photo that uh, MakerBot had posted. I actually printed the remixed version of this because the MakerBot STL files um, didn't seem to like Kira or just didn't slice so I downloaded one of the remixed ones and they sliced perfectly. So I'll pop a link down in the description so you can print this yourself. Um, if I had a larger bed, I probably would have printed it all at once, but I've only got an 8x8x8 eight by eight by eight inch uh, bed, so I printed it in three separate prints. So make sure to check out overclockers.co.uk for your UK supplier of Voltivo filament. Um, check out Cubicity over in the US for your US supplier. Check out Voltivo.com if you're in any other country and you want to check who supplies in your country. I highly suggest this filament. I, I've been using it a lot this week. Um, haven't had a single jam with it and I know that's prone with PLA so I'm really happy with that. It prints like butter. Couldn't be happier really so highly suggest it. If you like this video please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Uh, maybe leave a comment below of something you'd like to see me print in the future. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I've got lots of cool new videos coming out and yeah I'll see you in the next video guys.